Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I just want to show you how to connect to the Docker Hub registry from a terminal using Docker Hub generated access tokens. So by the end of this video, you should just be able to push up images to your registry. So say wit code is my username dash my image. Uh, you can also pull images down, just connect to Docker Hub. So to begin, what you have to do, of course, is have a Docker Hub account, which can be done at this link, hub.docker.com. I'll leave the link pasted in the description so you can easily access it. But essentially, Docker Hub is just a public registry that anyone can use. And a Docker registry is a location for storing and distributing images. So we can use Docker Hub to push our images to, share images with others, things like that. So after you've signed in with Docker Hub, so you can see I'm signed in right here, we can use it to generate an access token. And these access tokens can be used instead of passwords for the Docker CLI authentication. And a benefit of access tokens is that we can set permissions on them and revoke them if they're ever exposed which I will show you when we're generating them. So that's why I use access tokens as opposed to passwords. But the link to generate access tokens, I'll also paste in the description, but it's essentially you go to your settings and then personal access tokens. And then all we need to do is, let me zoom in a bit, is you will just need to click generate new token. So do this. We can just name it whatever we want. I will call this one demo because I'm gonna delete it when I'm done anyway. So demo at access token. And here's the permissions we can set. So we can do read only, uh, read write, read write delete, which is what's great about tokens because we can set different permissions. So let's do a read write delete. So basically all access, and then we will generate it. And after the token is generated, so this is our token right here, make sure to store this somewhere secure because when we close this window, we won't be able to see it again. So you'll just have to generate another access token if you lose it. But after doing that, we can now log in with the Docker CLI client or using the Docker login command. So that command is simply just docker login. And what this command does is it's used to log into any registry, not just Docker Hub. So we can use it to log into any public or private registry as long as we have the credentials. But Docker Hub is actually the default registry. And so as it's the default registry, we can just run this docker login command without specifying a server address. So if you're using a different Docker container registry, say Amazon Elastic Container or Google Container, you will need to add different information. But for luckily for Docker Hub, all I have to do is run Docker login, provide dash u for your username, which for me is Witcode. And then if you do that, it'll just ask you for your password. And your password is simply this token. So then just paste in the token. It'll go through the authentication and then it'll say login succeeded. Of course, this has to be the username that you're logged into Docker Hub with. But if you want to know a little bit more information of what this does is when you log into a registry, the command actually stores the credentials in, it stores them in home. So the environment variable home, then dot Docker and config.json. Of course, this is for Mac and I believe Linux as well, but on Windows, it's different. Instead of home, it'll be user profile. But what happens when we log in here is it creates an entry for this auths key and the value for it. So right here we have index.docker.io, it's related to the registry that we are currently logged into. So this right here, this index.docker.io corresponds to Docker Hub. But now that we've done that, we can push and pull freely from Docker Hub. So if I wanted to push up one of my images, so I have one, you just have to type in your username and then dash and then whatever the image is called. And so I don't have an image like that. I think I have a version or a tag of 1.2.0. So now we can just push to this layer or sorry, to our account. And now let's just talk about logging out. So we can log out of the terminal session with just Docker log out. So when we run this, we're removing the login credentials for this. And if we check our configuration file, we can see that no longer, uh, this URL is no longer in this auths key. And of course, cause we're logged out, we can't push anymore. So if I try to push this to my registry, for example, we get denied request access to the resource has been denied. But that's all it takes to get connected to Docker Hub from the terminal. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Also check out my courses and my Chrome extension in the description. If you, you'll probably find them both pretty cool and pretty useful. But besides that, thank you and have a good one.